Hello and welcome to What's Up Inland Empire. I'm your host, Jessica Q. Today, we are talking about events. So if you're into events in the Inland Empire, I've got Michael Carrasco from Family Market Company here today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're so excited to have you because you have some really amazing events going on constantly throughout the Inland Empire. And he also has one coming up on July 29th and 30th and 30th in downtown Riverside. He's taken over the street. So we'll we'll save the best for last. I love <laughs> that. I'm really excited about it. But uh, let's go ahead and tell everybody in the IE, who are you? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you know, basically, uh, I grew up in the Inland Empire, you know, so. Um, I've also been a vendor for the past, uh, eight, nine years, um, different, different businesses, uh, mainly a CBD company, you know, just getting to know so many vendors, realizing that there was so many gaps in the industry for, you know, the markets. Yeah. Like, and, I, I know you mean like, I know, cause like you're talking about the small business, like these are the really small businesses. Like these people don't have brick and mortars, right? No, no, these are they These don't. are vendors that you're finding at like market nights, you know, different events that you find on like Sundays, market nights, whatever. Yeah. So it's, you know, I saw that, you know, a lot of people were being mistreated. So I decided, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I think I want to start my own markets. And I got the opportunity to run a couple of farmers markets. We, we had some success there. Um, we eventually, we cut ties and we started, uh, the, uh, Fontana farmer's market. Okay. So that's one event you're yeah. currently yeah. doing. Okay. Fontana, uh, farmer's market. When is that? That is on Sundays, um, 10 to three. And then we have one on Thursdays, two to seven. Okay. Where is it located exactly? In Fontana? Uh, one in, uh, North Fontana. That's, uh, the Jesse Turner center. Uh, the one in South Fontana is at the Don Day center. Okay. And so th this was your first market. Right. This is your first market because we, we actually we started doing these little craft fairs at a, at a local church. And I had some really loyal people. Surprisingly, you know, for the low traffic, they did really well there. So it wasn't the fact that, you know, that they were doing well. It was the fact that the way we treated them, mm -hmm. you know, um, we helped them. We, we helped brand their businesses. We saw them start. And so we carried these people to Fontana and they grew there. They went to our, our, our next market. They grew there. Um, we started a, a one in Altaloma. Um, that one lasted about eight months, but, you know, it's trial and error. You know, mm -hmm. we have to, you know, see where, where we're needed and where, yeah. you know, people are going to come for us. Um, in the mix of us... Uh, you know, having these opportunities, we got the opportunity to do start Magnolia Center Marketplace. Um, Magnolia Center has been in Riverside for eight years. A lot of people, some people know about it. Some people don't. Um, we've changed it up a bit. We've added an open mic. We have uh, entertainers there. Um, it's craft fair. We have a um, uh, beer garden. The beer garden is very interesting. See, uh, a normal beer garden is secluded. You have... Um, it's 21 and over. You can't bring your kids in there. You know, we approached the city with the idea of having an open beer garden. We want people to be able to sit down with their families, enjoy their food, and have a nice uh, cold beer or a glass of wine and enjoy themselves, not have to go into a little corner. Yeah, and make their kids like yeah. sit, sit outside. Exactly. Like, you got to wait right there while yeah, I have a so beer. Yeah, okay? so it, it makes things more comfortable. <laughs> and, you know, honestly, that's what we're angling towards the International Food Festival. So, oh, okay, so that's, yes, and that's the big festival. Yeah, that's, that's the big up, festival. Yeah. Um, but our main focus is helping vendors. We, we help vendors, you know, we want to give them the platforms to grow their businesses. Mm -hmm. And we want them to be treated well. So... We look at it like so you're a vendor advocate. We're you, a big you're vendor advocate. You're here to to support them, help them. You're all I know you're all about the community and and that's, you know, one of the reasons why I brought you on today cuz you so Michael ha, you know, he he started as a vendor. He did his own vending and and being out there. So he knows the true struggle of being a vendor. I've actually I was a vendor too before advertising and everything that I do now. So I know like I mean just setting up your tents and getting everything like going and then breaking down and also just waiting for people to show up so you can show them what you have, you know. It's Yeah. 
it, it becomes like a money thing for a lot of market managers. For us, it's not a money thing. It's 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 passion for us. We want to we want to serve the community. We want to serve these vendors. In return, they're here for good. You know, they they have established businesses. That's where it's at is establishing people, not collecting their money and hoping they do good. Yeah. That's not a way to do business. So we're creating an organization where everybody's welcome. We help them get licensed. We help them grow their businesses. And we create these big platforms such as the International Food Festival so they can do the big shows. Low cost. I mean, they're still, no matter what you do, when you do a festival, it's still costly, still expensive. No matter how, how community you go, how many sponsors you get, it's still expensive because you're trying to make it good for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a challenge. And we just want to be there to help these vendors and we're here to serve them. And that's what it's all about. We're, we're not this organization that's just about money. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not about that. It, I us. mean, you know, it, it is a business, but you don't run it like a business. No. You're more, we're family. Yeah. That's why we you, named it the family market company. Yes. I love it. You, and yeah. you treat everybody like family. You yes, make sure the vendors yes. are, are good and Most yeah, definitely. And, um, so obviously you have to, you have to have some type of partnerships with the city. So right now you've like, right now you work with city of Riverside. Yes. I work with the city of Fontana, city of Riverside. Um, we were currently working with the city of Upland. Okay. Um, many, many of these cities, they want to bring in revenue to their cities. That's what we're doing. Also, it's not just these vendors that we're helping. We're helping the whole community. Mm -hmm. We're bringing in, you know, people that come from out of town they're going to shop. They're going to use the gas stations. They're going to use city uh amenities and it's going to help the city grow and that's what it's all about you know upland only has one festival a year the, we're trying to bring the lemon, two. The lemon yeah, festival, the lemon right? festival i just went it was like a few weeks exactly. ago yep <laughs> so you know most of these cities they only have one festival and these business owners they look forward to this one event all year long why not give them four why not give them more to look forward to right and more for stuff for people. And that's to what do. you're working on. That's what I'm working on. So you on. have more, more, more uh, events Most definitely. Com coming up in the future. I love yes. that. So let's let everybody know um, all the market nights that you currently do or days, market days or farmer's markets. Okay. So they, so they can know. So you've got um, Fontana, which Fon is two, two, day, two different days. You said Saturday? No, uh, that one on Thursday, that's Thursday. two to seven. Okay, two to seven. Okay, every Thursday, uh, every Sunday, uh, 10 to three. 10 to three. Okay, yeah. and then they're at the same location? Yes. No, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Jesse Turner's on Sundays and uh, Don Day Center's on Thursdays. Okay, okay. And then you said you have, of course, the sunny side, which is Riverside, and that one's Mag the Magnolia Center. Magnolia Center, that's every first and third Saturday of the month. We just added the fifth Saturday with the exclusion of July because we're having the international festival. Okay. Okay. So you are actually doing it like three times mm -hmm. a month. Okay. okay. It's, it's makes it more, um, uh, uh, every other weekend because before it was, we would have that two week gap because of the fifth weekend. Right. Now, so, so now no, no more gap. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, um, what was the other one? Upland? Oh, no. uh, no, Do uh, other one that we're working on is uh, we're working on another city. Okay, uh, so that's uh, in Upland, the works. Up, yeah, Upland is one of them. Um, we're working on Santa Anita and also Long Beach. So, nice. Okay. So we'll, we'll be spread out, and you know we want to bring this festival four times a year to different areas in the Inland Empire and different areas in, you know, outside of in California. Okay. 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 And then. So you've got all these farmers markets. And then, so you started thinking bigger. You're obviously an entrepreneur too, because you're like, let me make this bigger, you know? But before we do that, let's go ahead and go into a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Thank you to our sponsor, Fontana Nissan. At Fontana Nissan, they offer the limited lifetime warranty with any purchase and a $50 gift card with any test drive. When you're ready to buy, go to Fontana Nissan. Don't forget to ask them about their monthly $500 service credit giveaway. All right, we are back. Thank you so much to our sponsor. We appreciate you. Be sure to check them out, guys. They sponsor this show so we can bring on amazing guests and also, you know, uh, allows us to highlight all the different things going on in the IE. So thank you to our sponsor. And we are back with Michael. So family market company. And we are about to start talking about your big festival that is coming up July 29th and the 30th. So tell everybody about the festival. So we are throwing the International Food Festival uh, July 29th and 30th, and it's going to be in downtown Riverside. 
like it's taking over the taking street, taking over uh, the mission, mission in, in. Uh, from uh, Lemon Street, Orange Street to Lime Street. So all, all that, yeah, all that. It's if you've ever been to the Chinese New Year celebration that Downtown Riverside has, it's the same exact layout. So all that space, it, you know, it's the roads are closed off. All the vendors are lined up. There's also going to be some entertainment. You want to tell them about the entertainment? So we have a lot of entertainment lined up. We got some, uh, we got a lot of dances, a lot of cultural dances. We have a lot of um, young talent. Uh, we, we focus on young talent. We want to give people the opportunity to have the big stage. Um, we have the Sugar Bombs. They're a local group out of uh, the OC. They tour Southern California. We have uh, Halfway to Neptune. They're out of Laverne. Um, we just added, I believe it's a hotel, a Roosevelt Hotel. Um, they do a lot of uh, modern uh, rock and um, so good variety. Yeah, of, like, a music. good good variety of. And music. I'm sure you're gonna have like more entertainers. Most uh, definitely, added. we have we have a couple headliners in mind. We haven't released him yet, but okay. we're we're working on that right now. Um, we just picked up a new guy. He's at Alejandro um, Ruiz. He's he's really good. He's at our Fontana Farmers Market. I encourage everybody to come out, come see him. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, what about uh, vendors? So let's talk about the 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 chefs and the food trucks that are going to be out that day. So we have about six chefs that are going to come out, of all different uh, styles. Uh, we have one chef that's going to focus on um, sliders. Um, he's also going to focus on. Um, uh, salads and we have uh, a chef that's going to focus on just salsa. So different types of salsa from different cultures. We have uh, a chef that's going to focus on toast. She uh, is a bread maker. So oh. she focuses on sourdough. So she's going to, she's going to take sourdough and uh, make different uh, styles of, of uh, toast from different cultures is okay. basically what she's going to focus on. And that's, that's the game is that if you're going to come and do this festival, uh, you, we have, if you're a taco truck, you're going to switch it up. You're going to do something that is from where you grew up, where, where your culture is, and you're going to twist it up. If it's, you're, you're half Hispanic and you got a little Korean, you're going to do some Korean tacos, or, you know, you're going to do a little, uh, Italian and Argentinian twist, you know? There's all these different cultures and fusions are where it's at right now. You're going to oh, see yeah. tons and tons of fusions at this festival. That's very tons of goodies. right now. Yeah, it's, it's very much trending. Our food trucks are phenomenal. And it's not because you said four chefs. So I want you guys to understand. It's not just four food trucks. There, how many food trucks should they expect see, at this and event? Here, here's, the, here's the thing, people, is that our, our food vendors, they are all chefs. They are masters of their craft. And that's the way we're promoting them. When they come to this festival, they're bringing their A game. So I want to represent, we, we do have six specialty chefs. Then they went to chef school and that's how they represent themselves. But at the same time, you know, every one of these food vendors, they are their own chef. They, they bring something different and something to the table, especially for this festival. For the festival, yeah. yeah. So how many, like how many people, how many different varieties of food or uh, booths will... We're looking, be able to... we're looking at about 35 different varieties of uh, cultures there. Okay. We're looking at about 85 uh, food vendors. Ooh, um, so lots of, lots of options. Yeah. I like that. The rest will be a mixture of cultural retail and, and some goodies and things like that. Okay. Okay. And then, so you've got entertainment, of course, you've got the food because it's course. an international food festival. Yeah. And anything else that yeah, you'll we're going to have some local artists out there. They'll be doing live art. We'll have uh, Ray the Train Man. He'll be out there running the train for the kids. Oh, fine. Um, we'll have uh, an uh, axe th uh, throwing uh, booth booth there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Have you ever tried axe? Yes, throwing? I did. <laughs> it's kind of they, they scary. They made me do it at the Lemon Festival. Uh, so they? yeah, we have one here, but it's a plastic. Yeah. From Costco. You can go oh, to yeah, Costco. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's fun. fun. It's super yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So uh, any other uh, games? Um, we're working on some more stuff for like the kids zones. Uh, some of, the, of our sponsors are going to be uh, bringing out some games for the kids. We're not so much focusing on it being a fair. Okay. This is a culinary experience for you, your children, I your like family. That. Culinary experience. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And, you know, this is... Not only are you going there to eat, you're also going there to 
be educated on where this food comes from, you know, uh, some things that you didn't even know that it, it came from th this particular region, you know, yeah. there, it, everything has a history to it. So, and that's what we want to do for the public. We want to give them an experience. We want to give them a lesson on culture. Okay. And then what about, um, you know, we got to ask alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol, now the alcohol. So, so is there, is there yeah, going to be some? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. Um, <laughs> we are, we're going to have a variety of bars there. Um, everybody needs to behave. Okay. <laughs> He's already starting to be yeah, good. <laughs> because this will be the first ever open beer garden in Riverside ever to be. Oh, okay, wait. So, so this is the first? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a, you know, normally, like I said before, you know, you are in a beer garden. It's usually 21 and over. Mm -hmm. We're incorporating it with the families. We don't want the families to be excluded from their kids. We want everybody to enjoy themselves. At the same time, you know, we are going to have a cutoff point where people, you know, will have a limitation on how many drinks they could get. Okay. This way, you know, it becomes a fun place and nobody has to worry about anybody getting out of hand. Okay. So you're going to have beer, mm -hmm. beer and wine, beer and wine. Okay. So a variety of uh, breweries, potentially. P potentially. Yes. A okay. variety of breweries. Breweries. And, uh, okay. We will have some, uh, some uh, beer sponsors there. Okay. You know, we'll work on those. Everybody will see those as the ads come out. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, real quick, how can people connect with you on social media? Or anywhere. So we, we have multiple platforms, but uh, Family Market Co. is our one of our main platforms. Uh, you can go to Magnolia Center Marketplace. And these uh, are all on Instagram? Yeah, these are all on Instagram. Uh, also on Facebook. Um, you can go to uh, the International Food Fest 2023. That's our page for the International Food Festival. On Instagram? Okay. On Instagram. Um, we also have uh, the Eventbrite uh, ad. Okay. And you could look that up and get any information if you want to be a vendor or, if, you know, if you still have time uh, for the next one, we're, we'll be planning. Or, or all your other the, events. All, yes, so if you're event. a vendor listening, I would definitely reach out to Michael because he can, you know, connect you to all his other events and, and then you have more coming up. So yeah, yes, definitely you're, you're a great connection <laughs> contact for them. Yes. Um, and then what about, so you said Eventbrite. Now, when you say Eventbrite, people are going to automatically think, oh, you have to buy tickets for this event. No, this is a free event. This is a free, free, free event. event. Yeah, every uh, free to the community, free to the public. Everybody come out. Come out, have fun. Yep. You know, of course, you're, if you're going to want to drink and eat, <laughs> bring yeah. some cash. Yeah, bring But the some entertainment cash. is free. Yes. And there's going to be a big stage right on what street? Mission Inn. Okay, and? Uh, Lemon. Like, Lemon is where the stage is yep. going to be? Okay, yes. cool. And um, yeah, so free. That's amazing. So right. it's a free event. All our events are free. Okay. You won't, we, we won't do events that where you have to pay to get okay. in. We, we're, we're all about community. We want the, the, we want the single moms. We want everybody to be able to come out and enjoy themselves. Um, you know, anybody who, you know, struggles, you know, when you go to the fair, it's expensive. It's when you go so places, expensive. it's expensive. We want to give them that experience. And still be able to eat with their family and enjoy themselves, you know? Nice. I That's like why that. the train and everything. When you come to our events, and it's, it's a family experience. So I encourage you, everybody, to come. Okay. So come to the, the family market nights as well as the international, the IE International Food, Food Festival. Festival. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of long, huh? Yeah, it is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. And um, so you gave everybody the ways that they can reach out to you. Is there anything else that you want to, um, you know, I want to give a shout out to my team. You know, this is not me. This, I, I cannot take credit for this. This is my team. This is all the vendors. We did this as a family. We did this as a team. This is, you know, it's always like that when you come and you, you're a part of our family, you're, you're part of our team. And, we all grow together and I all watch this grow together. Um, so I didn't do this alone. I can't take credit for this, you know, so I want to just, you know, reach out, you know, shout out, shout, shout out. out to yes. Team. Shout yeah, out, shout you know, out. uh, Carlos Cano, especially Carlos Cano. I can't do anything without that man, you know, <laughs> his wife, Arlene, you know, they're, they're beautiful people, you know, so, um, I so love them to guys. death, yeah. love them to death. Yeah. And, uh, uh, my wife, Mindy, um, can't do this without her. Um, and, uh, everybody in my life that has my back, you know, my, you know, my vendors, I mean, they, they truly have my back and, um, I love them. The real family. Yep. I love that. Yep. 
Yeah. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much for taking time to be on our show. No problem. So thank you guys you know how to reach me. out to Michael. Yeah, thank you. And um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Well, thank you guys so much thank for you. tuning in. And thank you for being here. Thank you, Jessica. All right. Bye-bye. See you later. 